the first thing that I'm going to put on is this Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer. And I'm going to use the color Sun Glow. Primer, I'm going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Radiant with Hyal Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I really like their primers. Kind of want to go full coverage today, so I'm going to go with Jouer's High Coverage Cream Foundation with a Sigma F88 brush. The coverage is so crazy on this foundation. I think this color is actually too light for me. My forehead has been breaking out like crazy and I can't get it under control. I have no idea what it is or why. What is this? I'm going to take a little bit of this Milk Makeup Baked Matte Bronzer just to kind of warm up my face a little bit. You can see it's not that dark, it's just going to warm it up a little bit. Just using the same brush to kind of blend that in. For concealer, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. Tonight is actually the Cardi B Fashion Nova launch party. And I can't go because I don't have a babysitter. So I'm really bummed out that I can't go to that. But, you know, single mom problems. I don't really have a lot of help. Um, I never really have anybody watch my daughter. So let's see how this so, I can't go. It's all right. I'm sad, but it's all good. So I'm gonna blend this out with the brush right here. And on my forehead too. And then I'm gonna blend the rest out with my Sigma blender, whatever they call it. 3D HD blender. Before I actually set that in my face, I'm gonna take a little bit of these Cover FX glitter drops and I'm gonna apply it just to my cheekbones. I don't even know if they're gonna be too dark because they're gold. I'm trying to use like a side that I'm not gonna set my powder with. Then I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier powder, which, which is pretty used and abused and it's almost empty. That's when you know a product is good. Looks like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the new Dose of Colors Mickey palette, which I'm so excited for, it's just so cute. I'm gonna take this soft brown matte color and I'm gonna run that into my crease. This color would be like, it's really light, so it'd be really good, good for a natural look. I just really wanted to try this color. And then I'm going to take the matte reddish color and I'm going to apply that into my crease. I really, really like these colors. They had like hardly any fallout. They blended extremely well and they were really pigmented. So I'm, I was really happy with this palette. And I just blended that into my crease until I got the intensity that I wanted. And I used a Sigma F E25 brush. And then I'm going to take this Makeup Forever Aqua XL paint just as a base. And I'm going to blend it out as I go because once you apply these, they... Um, they pretty much don't budge. So and then I'm going to take the darkest matte color. It's like a blue black color, I guess. And first I'm running it into my crease just to kind of blend it upward. I'm blending it upward just to kind of diffuse that line. And then I'm going to pack it onto my eyelid. 
And then I took a black gel liner and I added a wing to the end of my eye. I didn't want to do like full, full on wing. I just wanted it to look like it at the end. So I just added a little bit at the end and then I blended that. I mixed a little bit of black and a little bit of the blue blackish color from the palette and kind of just blended that in. So you just seen the end of the wing. And then on the inner corner, I used the highlighter from the palette and just added that just to brighten up that inner corner. And then the lower lash line was basically pretty basic. It's just the transition shade that I used in the beginning. And then I ran a little bit of that darker color closest to my waterline. And in my waterline, I added a black eyeliner. To warm up my face, I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Fantastic Omega Bronzer 104. Whoa. I'm pretty sure if you guys follow me on Instagram, I know you probably know how excited I am about this collection. This Dose of Colors Disney collection or Mickey collection. I love, because I love Mickey in Disneyland, so. And I pretty much love everything that Dose of Colors comes out with, so I was even more excited that it was from them. And I just think it's so cute. I'm gonna do my nose real quick, and I'm using the Dose of Colors. I don't know what brush it is, because it's all completely off. You guys see me using it like every single video, I'm sure. For blush, I'm gonna take Bare Minerals That Peach Though blush, which is more of like a peachy, peachy color. And then I'm gonna take this Milani Translucent Banana Powder and I'm gonna clean up under my contour, my bronzer contour, whatever. Then I'm gonna go back into the Dose of Colors Disney palette. I'm gonna use the Beyond Classic highlighter. I almost don't wanna to touch that little Mickey head right there. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. So with the collection, it comes with three lipsticks, which are all really pretty, and then three glosses, again, all really pretty. There's two nude ones and then one dark one. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So I'm gonna use the color Forever. This one is 1928, but I'm gonna use Forever. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 600. Oh, this color is so pretty. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, dropped it. Nice change too from a liquid lipstick. Um, there's one called One and Only, which is a little bit darker than Rocking It, but I don't know. I think I want to go a little bit lighter. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. That's so pretty. I just did it all over, so I guess I'm doing this one. Ooh, that is pretty. This is gonna be like my new combo now, I'm telling you right now. Then I guess let's go ahead and spray it. We're gonna spray it with the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. 